When somebody writes a three-paragraph essay claiming that 223 and 556 are the exact same rounds in my comments, I need to fix that. I didn't ban him because he's just dumb. But let's fix that. 556 is running at about 58,000 PSI. 223 runs at about 55,000 PSI. How does that happen? Well, believe it or not, and you can't see it visually 99% of the time, and especially when it's just in my hand, the neck is longer on a 556, or the throat. That's to accommodate just enough powder to get that 3,000 PSI difference. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it is when it's enclosed in a casing like this. That means that if you take a 58,000 PSI cartridge, jam it into a 223, which has a shallower chamber, you're going to lodge the casing into the chamber, increasing the pressure that it is subjected to. Launching this bullet at 65 to 68,000 PSI, which could cause some damage to the chamber and the ejection system.